pat's back. I came to give a testimony. This happened to me about four or five nights ago. Um, I was laying in my bed and everything was fine. And then all of a sudden it felt like something took feet and started dancing all over my heart. And I knew I was having palpitations, skipping beats, everything crazy was going on. Well, I know I shared the story to you with you about how God had promised me Psalms 91. So I asked him to be my personal physician, but I also wanted wisdom to know if I needed medical help to tell me so I wouldn't be stupid. I'm not afraid of death. I just don't want to cause myself any agony, okay? So I laid there and I was telling God, I don't feel pain and I thank you for that, but this thing does not feel good. It, it's an icky feeling when your heart is doing that. I mean, it was just like somebody beating drums on it. Well, after about laying there dealing with it for about three to four minutes, I finally said, you know, Lord, I really need you to do something. Or, you know, tell me if I need to get medical help, but if, if you're willing to handle this yourself, which is really the way I prefer it, would you tell me if there's something I need to do? I don't know. And I laid there and the tears started to run to the back of my head. You know how it is when you're in the bed and you're laying there kind of scared a little bit. And So I laid there and I'm praying over my heart and talking to God about it. What should I do and blah, blah, blah. And then all of a sudden, once I shut up, I feel this peace. I always feel the peace, but I mean, this was like a little extended peace. And it was like, okay, check this out. And I started seeing my hand going in a circle. I'm seeing this in my mind's eye. I see my hand going in a very slow circle. And it just keeps going round and round and round. And out of my mouth, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. And I said, oh, okay. So I took my hand, put it over my chest, and I did what I saw in my mind. In my mind. And I closed my eyes and I just said, Jesus, look at my hand. Look what I'm doing. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. The more I said Jesus, the more I just wanted to hug the Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Gee, oh my goodness. I was feeling so stirred and so comforted inside. Even that started to make me cry. I'm just so grateful to God because I've never spent a day in the hospital, you guys. I've never had surgery. Anything that's ever acted crazy in my body, God has always handled it for me. He has always healed me. Just to let you know what happened, before 60 seconds was up, my heart totally stopped that dancing around and behaved itself and is still behaving itself. God is an awesome God. I trust him more than I trust doctors. Honestly, God has never failed me. I'm not going to get all teary-eyed and emotional and blubber all over the screen, but I just want to encourage some of you that may wonder, yeah, God heals. He heals big time. And He heals thoroughly. Thoroughly. You have an issue? Go to God before you go to the doctor. Or go to God on your way to the doctor. <laughs> but go to God first. That only takes a split second. Okay? God bless you. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm kind of like a daddy's girl. My father in heaven.